unrighteous sin Sean Tiff If you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel Subscribe to my YouTube channel Sean Tiff I got something to say real quick. Hold on. Unrighteous sin. Sean Tiff. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm about to make this uh, real quick. I was reading something right, and uh, and I just did a video yesterday speaking up about this system. I seen something where. Uh, Last year, out there in uh, Ohio, a race soldier, an officer, a police officer, shot and killed a black pregnant woman. And they filed charges, and they're charging him for murder. Um, and I've been seeing lately that these race soldiers, after they kill a black person, right? I've been seeing it lately. I guess the power structure said, you know what? Let's start putting them in jail. So it don't be like a a George Floyd, because we start to get rambunctious, belligerent, you know, start tearing shit up. And they probably said, you know what? We ain't about to do none of that. 
I'm here to let you know that just because he went to jail, that don't do nothing for me. Because one thing that I do know is that every state, it's another blue eye man, woman with that badge with an itchy finger waiting to kill me or somebody that looked just like me. They can't stand us. They hate, see, one thing I'm about to say, and I don't want nobody to get offended. I don't. I love every nationality. I love. But what I love more is me. I love being black. Yeah. I love this color right here. See this color? I love it. I love being hated. If I could change the hands of time and come back again, I would want to come back being black again after again. I don't want to be no other nationality, race. I don't want to be nothing but black. That's it. I love everybody, but I love being black. Got to get that out the way. The, like we the most hated. This system can't stand us. I don't care. I'm so immune to hearing cops. They shoot black kids. They uh, shoot grandmothers, black grandmothers. But I got a question. Have you ever heard them shooting a pregnant Asian woman? Have you ever heard of that? Anywhere in the, anywhere in the United States. Do you know what will happen? That will be... I can't even... <laughs> a cop shooting a pregnant Asian woman? That don't even sound right, huh? That sounds like an illusion, like a dream. Huh? Yeah, I know. A pregnant Middle Eastern woman. But it's us. They shoot us. You know, when it comes to these other races, I mean, they get caught or pulled over. They treat them with the utmost respect. And the way a, a white person act out with a police officer, they go ham. And that white officer be like, hey, just, 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 it's okay. You know, just, just have a seat and we can talk about this. I seen something um, where uh, a white person committed a murder. They didn't even put no handcuffs on him. They say, you know what, just come with us. And just get in the uh, back seat, open the door, and we're going to bring you to the station. Walk them to the station. You know, they damn near get uh, so belligerent with these cops. And after they finish with the scuffle, it's like the cops about to take them to go have a steak dinner before they go to jail. Like, hey, just calm down. Just, you know, just just calm down. And we can, uh, before I take you in, uh, would you like to eat anything? You know, what, what would you like? A steak or anything? Yeah, that's the kind of treatment they get. You know, that's that privilege. I understand. I don't care about what it is. I know I'm hated. I know it's a lot of people that hate me. Yeah, I know. I'm that N-word. Yeah, and I love it. I don't care what go on or whatever I am that I am. And I'm black. And I love being black. And fuck the police. Fuck the feds. 
fuck this. How should I say? This system. Yeah. I know you don't like me. And uh, blacks, pay attention to that Project 2025. Because when they get done implementing that, a lot of y'all going to find out what white supremacy is. Y'all going to find out what make America great again. I don't care about none of that. I look at myself. I'm a prisoner of war. When you come in contact with these uh, race soldiers and all that, just shut up. They don't want to hear it. Just shut up. Let them do what they do. They're looking for a reason. Don't be the reason. All it takes for you to stick your hand in, in your pocket and they're shooting you. That's it. See, before they used to uh, whoop your ass, but they got smart. They like, damn, if we whoop, whoop their ass, then we just made them rich. Like something happened uh, like two weeks ago out here in uh, L.A. Uh, it was a, uh, a black man, you know, in cuffs, and the police just punched him in the face while he was in handcuffs. That was rare. You just made him a millionaire. I wouldn't mind that. Hey, I get in some cuffs and you punch me up, punch me up. I'm going to take that. You just made him rich. But, uh, yeah, you know, when I come in contact with them, I know what time it is. I know what time it is. I'm not coming with all that as if I'm white, that intellectual shit. I use that, you know, with somebody else. It's whatever they say, I obey. I'm not about to give them the reason. Officer, what you want me to do? You want me to strip? You want me to, uh, hey, t tear my car up? I'm not about to start talking with all that. Hey, um, you know you can't be doing this. Hey, you know, hey, check this out. The color of my skin is stock. You know, you're a criminal. This color right here is, is a criminal. You're supposed to be stopped. I expect. When I see them, I expect them to pull me over, snatch me out of my motherfucking car, and tear that shit up. And if I say anything, I expect them to do what the fuck they gonna do, what they always been doing. It's real privilege out here. And hey, unfortunately, my cards wasn't dealt for me to be in on that side. It was meant for me to be on this side. God did not make no mistake when he chose to make me look the way I am. I love my height. What, I'm but 5'9". I don't wish I was tall. I don't want to be tall. I love my height. I love everything about me. I don't question God. I don't say, damn, I wish I was, I don't wish I was nothing but who I am right now. That's it. I'm dealing with it. And when I die, I'm dying black. I'm not dying with what I wished I was. When you come in contact with these race soldiers, don't be resistant. Don't argue with them. Don't question it. Keep it in your mind that, hey, they supposed to stop me. <laughs> I'm black. Hell yeah. Because see, I put myself in their shoes. I see that black, all right, I'm stopping you. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all better stop me. You don't see the color of my skin? It's a felony. Just to be black. It's like a felony. It's like a warrant. Oh, 
There goes that warrant over there. Yep, that's a warrant over there. Yeah, let's put him over. Hey, uh, you know you had your uh, light out. You on probation or parole? Nowadays up out here, they don't even ask you none of that. They'll just pull you out the car and just start searching you, tearing the car up, and then they'll ask you if you're on probation or parole. You see, like when it comes to them, I am not hard. <laughs> I am not no gangster. I know who the gangsters are. And these people that call themselves gangsters, nah, that's an illusion. Because you know who has the last word. You know who can stop you. You know who can tell you to shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. Put your hands up and you're going to do it. And I'm tired of hearing all that. Oh, they can't do that, man. Shut up with all that. Y'all don't want to go to war. Y'all ain't ready for it. <laughs> they make examples up out of us. You look like you about to reach for something. They going to shoot you. And uh, another thing, too. Let me... Uh, the, the suspects in that Julio Fulio. Y'all some damn fools. You must don't understand what white supremacy is. You go take that nonsense over there in, in Tampa and you want to play with them white folks up out there and bring your gangster shit out there like that? You see how fast they solved that? And what I don't understand, y'all was living in some nice houses. Life is gone. That lady got on there and said, hey, it stops right here. We are up, when I say we, uh, black, we're up against a system, a very powerful system that is out to harm you, out to show you what this system is all about. Stay out the way. Don't give them a reason and end up being the reason. To all the blacks that's done got killed by these race soldiers, may y'all rest in peace. But this ain't gonna stop. Every day they wake up, they wake up like, damn, I got to kill a nigga. Damn, I got to get that monkey. <laughs> you know, we got to kill him. And you better not get stopped in the middle of the night in some dark place and you sitting there trying to act like you Johnny Cochran. Hey, you know why I'm getting stopped? You know you can't codes and all that. Man, they're going to just put a bullet up in you. They don't care about your religion. Do you know about their religion? Do you know about the religion of white supremacy? You know, that religion. And that religion is going to have the last word on all other religions. You saw how Sonya said, said Jesus. That white boy said, what? You just, did, what? He wouldn't did that to no uh, Asian woman. He wouldn't did that to no uh, Middle Eastern. He wouldn't did that to no white woman. Hell nah. So, you know, when you get stopped by these police, don't be sitting there telling them what they can't do. Don't be sitting up there telling them about your religion. Don't be sitting there telling them about, you know, uh, codes and, and, and certain laws and all. That don't apply to you because you better believe it that blue eye man woman with that badge on most likely got uh some real hate and their religion is a religion of white supremacy and uh 
ain't nothing gonna top that. So if you think you're gonna sit there and start talking about God and Jesus and all that, uh they gonna show you what what it is. And they do that. So I'm not here to test them. But fuck them. I'm just uh staying out the way. I look at all this shit as a prison yard. And the police, they're just prison guards. You know? Prison, jail, that's the hole. So when I'm on the yard, I'm just looking out for them. I'm just staying out their way. That's it. I'm just staying out their way. Because I ain't going to give them the reason to blow me out the way. Because they looking for it. And I ain't about to try. They put it down real quick. Um, uh, but yeah, them Julio, Julio, them suspects, man, listen, that shit ain't no joke, huh? Y'all life just got thrown away. Y'all did some sloppy ass shit. They make examples. They pulled you out in that rain. You had the, 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 the heart to sit there and, and go do that. To him, but you didn't have that heart to go do that to that cop that kept saying, Move, back up, back up, some more, come on, back up, back up, back up. You didn't do that. You got on your knees. That's what they do in the rain. That's what I'm saying. We got these guns. But them guns is just to kill somebody like me. Them guns ain't ain't to kill uh that blue-eyed uh devil with that badge that hate niggers. Hell nah. You'll be quick to kill a, a, a another black person. You better not uh step to them. Helicopters and SWATs and 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 you on the news and K9 dogs and and man, listen. You don't want that heat. When you kill a black person, you take off and leave. When they kill a black person, they stand there. They don't leave. You know that they did it. When something is hard to me, is when you can kill somebody and stand there and wait and let them know, hey, I did that. And, uh, I do it again. So what y'all want to do? You gonna pick the body up or what? Now that's hard. Now that's gangster. But nah, we gonna bust on something and we gonna take off. Cause you know why? We know the real gangsters is on their way. And you out of there. You can have an AK-47 shotgun. You are out of there. You're not gonna stay at the scene. You, like, you're not. You're not going to stay at the scene. You out of there. But, yeah. Just had to say that. And, uh, everybody stay strong. Much love to the real ones out there. Get your money. Stay out their way. And if they stop you, let them have their way. It's all about being able to live to the next day. You can have this money. You can take this. You, can, you just don't kill me, though. If you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Unrighteous Sin, Sean Tiff. But yeah. And whoever done lost somebody, make sure that you uh, stay strong and, and, and stay out the way. And don't do nothing that's going to have you missing or out the way.